104.1 KRB, a cumulus media station. Good morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TFCU Energy Studio. The Rule and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. All right, it is 8 o'clock. It is time to play for you the rodeo sounder that you're going to be listening for. Every day it changes. Every day it changes. So you are in the special window of people who get to hear the sounder so you know what, what to be listening for between the hours of 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. at any time during commercials, during a song, at a random time, we can play the sounder. You need to be the specific caller to win the tickets. For Whatever the caller we ask for. Yeah, 713-390-KRBE. Did we ask for one yesterday? We just picked the caller 10 yesterday. A, I think we made it simple yesterday. Yeah, yeah. When you hear the sounder, simple. we just pick a caller. Yeah. We just pick a caller. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Because mm-hmm. we don't usually talk. We don't talk. We do it's not just talk. Random. No, it, you don't, it, it you don't just show up. We don't say caller 10 right now. Mm-hmm. We just on our no, own behind the scenes. Gotta, we just want to be sneaky. We need to sneaky. pick our number. Yeah. All right. So, by the way, the number is 713-390-5723. That is the contact number. When you hear the sounder to call for tickets, here is what you're listening for. <laughs> oh. Is that Sam's call? I dumped all my milk out. <laughs> oh, that's actually okay. Before you play it play again, it one more time. No, wait, wait. Over. Before you play it, that's Special K when he was milking the goat and he knocked over the can and it spilled all over. And the then place. he didn't win the contest because all the money. milk was on the ground. He's made like three, four hundred bucks off that yeah, on YouTube residuals. He literally cried over spilled milk, and now he takes these seventy-four cent checks to the bank Farm every fails. time. Farm yeah, those fails. Those compilations on YouTube. Oh uh, yeah. Here it is again. Here it is. <laughs> oh. I dumped all my milk out. <laughs> uh, when you hear that, uh, just call us, and you could be winning tickets to the rodeo. And speaking of that, the cook-off kicked off last night. It goes through this weekend. Uh, the trail riders are out and about. You're going to be, like, looking to see where can you find them, where can you see them, or maybe where you don't want to be stuck behind them. Which, by the way, the cook-off <laughs> is actually opening up today at noon, runs till 11 p.m., and then tomorrow it opens up at 9 a.m. and runs till 11 p.m. And what p.m. I need, maybe someone listening out there could help us out with this. Mm-hmm. For a try it Tuesday, I want to do... Rodeo foods, like, mm. but they're too busy over there. We could make our own, but we don't have uh, a deep fryer. Maybe deep somebody fryer. has a food truck that could come by and then deep fry stuff for like us, like a Twinkie or we Snickers used to have or food an Oreo. Thursdays Slim here at Jim. this building, they would come downstairs with the food truck, and you'd go downstairs and get food for lunch. If you have a food truck that has a deep fryer and you can fry Oreos or a, or a Snickers bar, or or maybe you do that. Maybe there's one of those food trucks that that's their thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know it's which one that would be. Carnival food on wheels. Like fair food. <laughs> like corn dogs. Uh, it's not yeah. a very short, slick name. <laughs> no, Carnival not. food on wheels. Um, 37530. 37530 is our text number if you know of a food truck. Here is the rodeo song that is perfect to play today, especially because the kickoff of the cook-off was last night. Every time I hear the beginning of this, I think of Beyonce's Texas Oldham. Mm-hmm. It's not Texas Oldham. It's this Phoenix, Phoenix. the Ryan Show. 104.1 KRB. Everything you need to know about rodeoing this season. Put on my hat and saddle up, we're riding in. Park the truck wagon down the street and shuttle in. Gonna bring the kids, it's gonna be one damn good show. We'll bust their muttons, then it's time to rodeo. I wear my Wranglers once a year. I pretend that I could ride bulls and wrestle steer. Carny folk don't like to be called carnies. Say it and you'll find them less than charming. You'll have to face their whole dang army. I just pray to God that they don't harm me. Me. Bought a brand new pair of cowboy boots early this week. Now I walk bow legged cause I got blisters on my feet. Head to the cook off, yeah, that's my favorite event. They kicked me out cause I got no tickets for a tent. Smelling like meat and smoke Two hot dogs and a funnel cake And now I'm broke You can deep fry anything I'm told Twinkies and Snickers Even good Oreos Why is my left arm getting cold? Let's hope my arteries can hold So grab y'all's boots and hats For three weeks of shows Brush up your country talk, it's time to rodeo. Just remember that carny folk don't like to be called carnies. Say it and you'll find them less than charming. You'll have to face their whole dang army. I just pray to God that they don't harm me. me. Yee-haw! Yee-haw! And the rodeo cook-off, it 
kicked off last night. It's happening today and tomorrow. Today, uh, actually, it's really cool. I mean, first of all, the ticket includes a plate of sliced brisket and beans and chips. So you do get food for that ticket, and it gets you into the carnival. But today's hours, it kicks off at noon, and then tomorrow it kicks off at 9 a.m. And when you go to the carnival, all of the carnival vendors are up and ready for your business. Like, you can get fried Oreos and fried Twinkies and fried cheesecake and turkey oh, that, legs that and corn there? dogs. That guy? Juicy. <laughs> juicy. <laughs> he wasn't there last year. No? I did not hear the juicy last year. Do you know what I'm talking about, Sam? Yes, but... When you walk past that, it's, it's, it's like a, a big green... It's a giant grill full of, like, 50 turkey, turkey legs, legs at the oh, same yeah. time. It's like a green And the trailer. running audio of the voice guy is... Juicy, get your. I'm just glad. How are those turkey, turkey legs? legs? They look too. Are they dry? Are they no, they're not dry. I've never in my life once. I'm not a turkey ever fan. I, I've turkey bought the turkey leg before. It, it is a commitment. To you try put condiments on it, or you just no? Eat you it don't need anything put on it. it. I you had a caller it. tell me that is the only thing he looks forward to. Really? Yes, a listener. But yes. I want to know what the real turkey looks like, like that, that has legs out. that size. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah that turkey's right. got some steroids. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's for sure. Right. Is it ostrich? Leg day legs every day. day. It's not an <laughs> ostrich. It's <laughs> emu legs. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're eating emus. But you know what? The weather is going to be great this weekend. It's going to be sunshine. It's going to be, you know, every year I love getting that roasted corn on the cob. You know, where they cook it in the husk and you just peel the husk back and you cup eat it. Cup of corn. And you Most put expensive a little... cup of corn I've ever had in my life. No, not the cup like of corn. I'm talking, I'm talking about like eating, they eating give it you right both, off the They cob. give you both options. So they always have the Tony Sacheries. Mm-hmm. Every time I go there, it's like windy and it just blows back in my eyes. How I'm do you like, eat the ah, corn? How do you eat it? Just right off the cob. He goes like this way. Or that yeah, way. Which way do you eat it? Like sideways. Horizontal. Or I don't put it in like a hot dog. Oh, no. You, you can do it like in the cartoon. Oh they put the whole thing in their mouth. And like they pull I, like up a bowl constrictor. I dislocate my jaw and just shove it straight in. I say you drink water. It's weird. So I figured maybe I you do, do it that way. I drink water weird. Fill me Speaking drinking of water. pet peeves. You put yeah. your lips over the whole thing and. I'm trying and then not you to like get. Guzzle it. I'm trying not to get. I'm trying. I don't deep throat the water. But how do you get the water in your mouth? Because it goes straight down the gullet. I'm trying not to get that. You know, because all these. Like a All these people who drink, you know. Water bottles, it's like, you know, when we get old, we're going to have the crinkle lip above it. So I'm trying to avoid That's why you need a that. Stanley, Ryan, as a flat Just get lip filler. I'm not succumbing to the Stanley yeah, craze. Yeah, lip filler, man. Yeah, just Pedro's lip filler. You you're fine. No, lip filler doesn't do anything for the, the crinkle, you know, that you get between your nose and your lips. That space. I'm sure technology. What crinkle are you talking about? Oh, smokers, I've got a, I've got, I've got family that. members that have the crinkle. It, it, it looks like no, a crumpled paper bag no, between your lip and your nose. No, you're talking the actual top of the lip. Grow No, not the lip itself. The skin between the lip. And the nose, that area right there, it gets all wrinkly, crinkly. Just grow your mustache out. Yeah. I don't, I'm not growing a mustache. Did you guys get that? I, mostly, I thought it was yeah. women. What yeah. in the world are you talking about? Hold on, I gotta Google this. I'm telling look you, it's all, like, oh, why am I looking some up? old people get Bush. the they, they get the Bush's crinkle wife above had their oh, above their lip. She was like eight. She was a smoker. I, I, no, the, the crinkle mouth. Deal. Wife George W. Barbara Bush. No, the other one. Oh, Laura. Crinkle yeah, mouth. She, is that what I'm googling? Because she smoked a lot. If you are a smoker and your mouth is constantly making that puckering. Like inhaling motion. The same thing with the water bottle um, drinkers. And then they said that the water bottle also does that. So that's that's why I'm, I'm trying to thwart that from happening. How about just pour in a cup then? I don't want to sit here and pour It's weird cup. though how you drink. I'm always I'm thirsty. I'm telling you for as much here, water here. as you that's drink. Here, you can film me the if Stanley you Stanley will help you. I don't think Look it's that weird. Look at this flat straw. See I just how it's pre- flat, not It round. makes drinking water fun. It feels like I'm drinking booze. <laughs> here, but dude, here. it's going, wait, hold on. Let me be with this. You're not here, doing it the way you do Here, here's how I do it normally. No, you're, that's not how, how you, you do, do it. Because there's always Sam, a Sam, is that how he does it? No. no. How do I do it? Tell He's me being how he does it. filmed now. <laughs> yeah. Here's how he does it. Here. Okay, Eric is going to demonstrate how Ryan drinks his water every day in the studio. Hold on, wait. Ready? Oh, uh, wait. Why is it so zoomed in on you? Okay, oh, no. there we go. It's super it's zoomed. in his face. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is a lie. I do not put the whole bottle in my that's mouth. That's what it looks like. That's what I you do. It just sounds like it. You're crazy. Oh, yeah, you go there. It, there's no Oh my god, to now that's deep throating the bottle. I am not doing that. <laughs> Why do you have to describe it like that? Why can't you just say he Eric is... said it that uh, just a few minutes ago? I never said that. Mm-mm. You said I deep throated the bottle. No, I never I've never yes. used those words ever. Imitating that. That's gonna be Ryan's spotlight. Yeah. 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 Ryan's spotlight. I deep throw bottle. Mommy, what does that mean? <laughs> that's right. Anyway, um, I would like to Put shout out on to uh, everybody Man. going to the rodeo. No, that was my pet peeve. What about the yours? work what about in the, the grounds? You vape? Volunteers. What? Yeah, the vape also. The vape's going to get your lips worse I than the I still can't bone. find lip crinkle. It's, you mean to tell like, me you've never like seen a like an old person? Like in her 80s. Lips. Yeah, like grandma and, and grandpa, they get, they get those, face. those wrinkly like, look skin at the between their lips and their nose. Titanic probably might have, might have had it. 
The grandma in Titanic. Oh, the one who threw the jewel in the ocean? Well, there's only one grandma in Titanic. (laughs) I don't know how many you saw in that movie, but (laughs) just the one. Old Lady Rose. There's smoker lip treatment. Wow. Anyway. For the low price of $56.99. We can do this for a try Tuesday. Oh, God, no. And Ryan, you you said you're never going to make it to 80. What are you worried about? Yeah, so what are you worried about? I'm telling you, just grow out the mustache. I, 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 you know, as noticed, a man, you have that advantage. Yeah. I have noticed that the mustache is coming back, and it's like, I just can't do it, man. I, I mean, I can grow a mustache, but I don't. I, I feel like you need to do a mustache and a mullet, Ryan. I, I feel like it's really calling you. Had a mullet. Calling you. You had a mullet. I had a mullet. Calling like, your name. When, when the Rule and Ryan show started in 2003, they ran a TV campaign, and they showed Ryan's. Um, My college ID. College ID with his mullet, and it was strong. Yeah. It was strong. It was a wavy mullet. It was big and <laughs> my hair. My hair is not straight. When it strong. grows out, it gets all wavy. It's strong. <laughs> mullet. Um, thank you to those of you who are texting us about all different rodeo things. One person wanted to know, because they're confused, when you go to the rodeo for the cook-off and you have a ticket for the grounds, how does that work? Do you pay for tickets and then there's food involved? As Ryan said, there is a, a tent where you get a free plate of barbecue, but... All of the carnival vendors are open for business. You want those pot- the potato that got s- spiraled into one giant oh, french yeah. fry? That guy's there. You want the corn dog with a pickle in it? That guy's there. All the carnival food people Funnel are cakes. ready to go. Oh, and right. by the way, like yeah. when you buy that ticket to get onto the carnival grounds, be prepared. You got to buy tickets for the rides as well. That just gets you on the grounds. That's not going to get you any rides. So, have but fun. Find guys. people that have those booklets. Oh, yeah. Do they still do the booklets, oh, or yeah. is it a band now? Shout out to you, Leticia. She's been texting like, me about like getting my discount didn't they, didn't they, they had the card. No, they have a whole team. They have a whole team. The they really give you the stuff. You, uh-huh. you pay for it, and it's cheaper. It's Rodeo Carnival they tickets. Told Sam to take go? To Santiago. One of those little kid rides. Oh, yeah, in the back left-hand corner, and then they have like little, little pig races and fun things to watch. Mountain busting. Download um, the cute. Rodeo app, guys, and you can download tickets to the carnival right there on your phone and scan as you go. Nice. And, there, and I think tomorrow's the last day to do the best value where you get, like, all these packs. All right, go to rodeohouston.com slash carnival tickets is where you want to go to have a lot of fun. Now, coming up next. I we got to try it. We, we, we don't do. believe it or not. We got to see how believe oh, it or not does. Listening who? No, believe it or not. We got believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do it, but last it's on probation. Moment. It, believe it or not, it's on probation? 820, you guys have to bring it. Because 820, you guys have always brought it for us. For some reason, 820 always brings it. Because I thought, Sam, he was saying, believe it or I not. I know, I know. We're going to do. Yeah, and you're like, we're doing that? No, yeah, like we're moment. still not doing that. No, we're not. <laughs> don't, don't even believe it or not, people date their bosses. The hell's that right to me? <laughs> you're Ryan Moment you, yesterday, you Ryan. You on your own. Honey, yesterday I did an entire minute and a half of something. You were not listening, and then you repeated the entire minute and a half of what you. I said. That was a Ryan moment. This job is hard for that stuff because we're trying to yeah, do five I'm things trying, at once. I'm trying to pull up an audio example for you while you're doing it. And I'm toggling over a switch in my headphones that was so I can though. pull it up for I you. They were like, yeah, I have this thing. I go, that's what I just said. <laughs> Anyway, believe it or not, you're on probation, 8 o'clockers. Prove Eric that right, wrong, not right. Prove him wrong. Prove him that you have stories for us to be wowed by. Things yeah. that sound unbelievable, like an unbelievable but they're true. Story. Like a, a, a non-unbelievable, uh, unbelievable. Oh, I lost my <laughs> ring. The, the, the wheels have fallen off. A non-unbelievable song, story. 790-KRBE. You just call us drinking. and do it. Oh. Next on the Rule and Ryan Show. <laughs> Love Hi-ho. that part. Hi-ho. Hi-ho. Patrick Mahomes sounds more like Kermit. I sound more like... Ray Romano meets Jack of the Box. And Luke Bryan. And little, little Grover in there. You got oh, Luke Bryan. I'm so glad you are here. Now nah, you're Luke Bryan. I'm so glad you are here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 713. Yo, I just, oh my God, I just bit my tongue and it hurts so Oh, I hate when that happens. How did that happen? I'm in excruciating pain right now. No, just now as we're about to talk. Yeah, her tongue. I, I just did this little corner. <laughs> How is it that ruins you so po- terribly? Either that or you bite the inside of your cheek. Inside's yeah. the worst. Inside your cheek, inside, inside your, your lip, inside your tongue. And now I won't just stop once. biting it. It doesn't happen once. Right. Once you do it once. It yeah. swells up or something. It so you might do it again. Oh, God, excruciating pain. Okay. Son of a bitch. That's exactly right. Thank you. That's what I'm thinking. That was Bert. 713 <laughs> K-R-V-E. Wow, that hurt a lot. Okay, let's go to Olivia. Oh, Olivia Pope. Olivia from Scandalandal. Uh, hi, Olivia. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Tell us yeah, an you unbelievable. Sound like you're, she's in a submarine. Story. Right help you. <laughs> Olivia, welcome to Believe It or Not. What is your contribution to this segment okay, today? Yeah. 
for you all that always gives Ryan a hard time. Ryan, this is one for you. Thank you. He's not the only somebody that has had multiple body parts that have metal in them. I've had both my hips replaced, both my shoulders replaced. Whoa. I've had an elbow replaced. Damn. I have pins and screws in my ankle. Whoa. And just recently in September, I had a bone taken out of my hand because I was having a problem moving one of my thumbs. Oh, so Ryan's wow. not the only somebody out there that's a walking machine. Oh, Bionic, my God. I'm Ryan, sorry you had to endure that. Olivia. Was it over how much time? Yeah. yeah. You're talking 20 years, uh, five months? I always been a little longer than that. Well, the the surgery started, I think I had my first one in 2002, uh-huh. and I had the last one last month. No, well, the last shoulders. year in October. Why, like, did you what have would be an the accident? reason to replace the shoulders? Both shoulders okay. being replaced. Uh, shoulder pads put in? <laughs> No, I no, wish. Like, uh, <laughs> well, it's, with the shoulders, the first one, um, I was doing Taekwondo with my son, oh. and it was something for me to do. Mm-hmm. And for my belt test, I got popped in the shoulder, and it was, oh, it's just a bruise, it's just a bruise. And then over the next year and a half, I went to brush my hair one morning and couldn't lift my arm. Huh. Went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, well, when did you tear your ligament? And I was like, I didn't. He's like, yeah, you did. And oh, I'm like, no, no, I didn't. And he <laughs> takes the x-ray and showed me that it had been torn And because I have such a high tolerance for pain, it didn't bother me until the morning I couldn't comb my hair. Whoa. That's crazy. So two shoulders replaced, two hips replaced, elbow replaced, ankle pins and screws, and hand bone missing. If you had all the money, I obviously don't pay it all. Oh, my God. It's a lot of money. It would be like $10 million, a million dollars. I I was getting ready to say, rule the rhyme, the the buying woman has nothing on me. Her and Steve together, the $6 million, (laughs) probably nothing. Right. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, yo, and Rula, I, yes, and Rula, I had the same ankle done that you had, Did and you? at the time when I had mine done, my car was a stick. So oh, I, man, I know exactly how you felt oh, you not clutch. being able to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive. I could not drive at all. My car was a stick. And that and ankle I was in the surgery, for six months. yeah, that ankle surgery alone was like sixty grand. Just I forgot what did you have that done? I had it done July nineteenth, and I could out. not leave my house till October twentieth. Yeah, because you weren't in here. When right. did you come back in here? October twentieth, I think. It was. It was my first day back. Wow. Yeah, October 19, and then the 20th, like I came you're back. you walking pretty well, though. Yeah, it's pretty well, good. Well, that's but... the goal of the surgery, so well, I don't hear right. you're good in pain. I know you, oh, but here's what sometimes. I learned about the, the foot now. There is a natural bone spur you have in the back of your ankle, mm-hmm. and ballerinas, that keeps them from being on their toes full point. Like when they're doing a pirouette? So, like, there's a case of a ballerina had it removed so that she can actually do the top of her toes move. Oh, oh, that's because hardcore. that bone spur is in the way. Here's it's like the, the thing, natural way. Here's that the thing that you're built. really going to notice, like when the weather changes, because I severed my Achilles tendon, I've broken half my body, and anytime the weather changes, you feel that. And my mom has time. knee replacement. She knows that. Like anybody who has a knee replacement, always I feel says, like is it's bad down here though because we don't get the cold. Cold. Yeah, my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the rain. You get the rain. Humidity. Yeah, but they got the rain. You feel oh, it. and speaking of your dad, Sam, since yeah. there's snow where he lives, oh, yeah. I saw this thing that came across. Uh, I don't know if it was like. Instagram reels or whatever, and it's this lady, and she goes, if you're over 45, don't shovel snow, because it causes heart attacks. Oh, oh and, great. I thought because you were singing that. I know, I thought that, you that, like That's, that's the way she's singing it. She's singing it like that to remember If you're over 45, don't shovel, shovel snow. snow. If you're over 45, don't. If you do, whatever then your life will blow. Because she said You'll the be six way, feet below. the motion you're doing, because it's so cold, you can't tell if, you're, if your chest hurts because it's cold, or if you're actually having a heart attack. That's true, a lot of people do die of heart people attacks. people have heart attacks shoveling snow. What about with a snow blower? Well, tell your dad use the snow blower. Because he uses a Don't shovel snow. Okay. That's like a leaf blower. Shovel. Well, whatever. It makes it easier, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to, um, believe it or not, is more like, hey, guess who I met? Do you want that story? If it's unbelievable, maybe somebody would be shocked. Okay. Let's it's see. a guess who I met story. Ooh, okay. yeah. It's Carmen's like Jesus online. or something. I'd be like, whoa, I want to hear that. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> That'd be impressive. Yeah, right. That, that's the call. <laughs> I don't know. That's I why she's them. calling in. <laughs> right. I met Jesus. <laughs> Carmen, <laughs> hi. Hi, girl. What <laughs> over here. Total side eye. Uh, hello. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Spotlight on you for Believe It or Not. Tell us your story. Who'd you meet? Hey, good morning. Hi, good um, morning. This is like, this is kind of lame, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. Oh, no, 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 um, no. no. Hold you, on. you can't. We'll we, we can't have that. Have Eric confidence. is going to like totally uh, kill a mod behind the scenes. He's like, that's kind of lame, but uh, I put uh, it through. Oh, uh, mod's already shaking. He wants stars. He wants like epic story standing by. I'm expecting by. somebody huge. You like, can't I'm gonna, start yeah. it out by yeah. saying, this story might suck, but I mean, here we go. If you say something like, oh, <laughs> I met Matt through Smack. want to preempt it. Okay, here we go. I guess it's better than saying it's the best story ever because then we're let down. I think it's someone lame. Now, who? 
would that be? Okay, here we like go. Here we go. You just tell us. Now go. Okay. You have the floor. Okay. Well, okay. First off, good morning. Um, good love morning. your show. Thank so, you. Okay. Okay. So, a um, long time ago, I was in college. Um, I went um, in Colorado. My college was about a, an hour away from Denver. Okay. And, and um, so, Eddie Murphy was coming to town on his Delirious tour. Ooh. And so, I really wanted to see him. That was when it was really big. Remember that whole Delirious thing? the 80s. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a big time. Yeah, it was the 80s. I'm old. <laughs> so, that, that was like I the really height of go. everything Eddie Murphy became was like, oh, my God. That was like, I mean, of course, he's still very famous. But that yeah. was like, Eddie Murphy was For everything. Comedy. Right. Yes. Okay. He was like really, really big, right? Yeah. And right. so, um, I really wanted to go. So, I couldn't find a girlfriend to go with me. So, this guy... We were just good friends. He's like, yeah, I'll go with you. So we got tickets, drove down to Denver. It's about an hour, hour and a half. Sort of like if you were like A&M to Houston, right? Okay. okay. We drove down for the concert. And um, before the concert, we're just kind of, you know, checking out all the merch, you know, just walking around. And so this random dude walks up to me and he's like, hey, you want to meet Eddie Murphy? And you know who's gonna say no to that, right? You must so, be extremely good. Oh, yeah, you're pretty. <laughs> yeah. You're you extremely like, good. He looking. was out grooming for oh, Eddie. My gosh. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll be Eddie Murphy. So he hands me this thing, this backstage pass or something. He's like, okay, and he gives us instructions mm-hmm. after the show. This is what you do. So I'm like, sure, okay. So <laughs> watch the whole show. After the show, you know, we wait around to you know follow his instructions. We'll go down, and then they tell us, us me and a bunch of girls. Right? <laughs> and meanwhile, my date is like, or my friend, or you know, whatever he is, he's just kind of sitting there, like, oh, he had to do like, it. You know? I'm sure. like, I got to sit here while Eddie Murphy yeah, bangs the guy my date. Right. The guy did not get invited back. Uh, all the pretty girls got here, invited back. Hold my back. purse. I'll be right back. I mean, this in, in 2014 or 2024, you'd be like, oh, did you get kidnapped? Is that actually what happened? It was a scam. Right. But this is for real. Like, the guy came but, and yeah, said, back come back backstage and so you're, you're about to be. Eddie Murphy. So, backstage. Meet Eddie. so we all line up and they tell us, okay, you're going to walk through, you know, they give us what to do. So we walk through this room and he's sitting on this couch and he's got, I don't know, like this little, I still remember it. It's like this little bitty valve. It's like this little white valve in his hand because he's kind of, a valve? you know, jiggling it in his fingers. Oh, yeah, it was like, like a, a, little a fidget plastic. spinner What that would be today. Like was okay. it something he was fidgeting with? Yeah, but it was full. Mm-hmm. It was like this old powder thing. I don't know. What that was. Would that be a cocaine? Yeah. 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 That's the that's a vial of drugs. That's a vial of yen. Okay. Yeah, so we, we all walk past, and then we have to walk past. And it was just crazy. We had to walk past. We had to turn around. What? Oh, so, he's doing a cattle call. Like, this is really yeah. He's like, I'll take right. that one, right. that right. one, and that one. Damn. It was wow. like his own little private like fashion show or model mm-hmm. show or something. All right. Oh it was like, so which one am I going to pick to sleep with? Let me see. Walk in front of me. Now turn around. <laughs> Let me check out your butt. Did you get, did you get yeah, picked? Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, I'm like 18 years old, 19, whatever. And so... Um, and then, you know, we get a chance to talk to him, you know, and so like, I, you know, I'm like, Oh, great show. You're so funny. I don't know what to say. You're so funny. Yeah. Did, did, hi, Eddie funny. did Eddie come on yeah, to you? So we all just kind of stand there and he's kind of saying hi to us, whatever. And then, um, so that was about it. So then he invited us to an after party and they gave us, you know, Wait, real quick, Carmen, did, and- did the other girls talk during this like stroll of body physical attraction like you guys are all in a line and they ask you to walk in front of Eddie Murphy so you can check Especially out like the, obviously the bachelor where they the girls, it's yeah. so creeper vibe it is did, did, were the girls talking to him was he talking to you guys or was it just awkward like you're all just standing there and you know he's just checking out and see which one he wants to sleep with yeah it was just kind of weird but he, he we were all talking so everyone was kind of like like me like not really knowing what to say you know you're just kind of like Hey, you know, great show. Oh, Did I he love flirt you. with you? Oh, you're so awesome. I'm sorry? Did he flirt with you? No, not really. He was just kind of talking to all of us. Like, hey, yeah, you know, okay, thanks. It's thanks, so weird. Know. Did you see any it of the girls really stay weird. back? Yeah, because girl- you said oh, then yeah. y'all got invited to the after party. What happened there? Did yeah, you know I didn't go because I had a mm. date. And so mm. what do I do with him, right? I had a, I, well, well, you know, could they I had to let you bring guy, him? Right? No, Eddie doesn't want dudes there. He wants his hair. He didn't want him there. He invited me, you know, so... I mean, he gave the us the instructions and everything, now. and I was kind of like, "Thanks." And the guy I was with was like, "Yeah, I'll go. yeah, go ahead and go. I can find something to do." But you know, by then it's like eleven, twelve o'clock. We need to get back to school. Oh, you're still in high school. Yeah, no, 18, no, 19. Oh, college. No, no, we were in college. That guy really liked you, though. College. He was willing to let you sleep with Eddie, and he'd be like, "Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll just wait for you. Hopefully, you'll like me someday." Did yeah. you end up with that guy, or anything happen with that guy, or yeah. nothing? 
Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So, yeah. So then we just went back to school. I was like, no, I'll just go on back, you know. So she basically that was picked it. by Eddie Murphy's people Dang. to see, that girl looks hot enough for him to sleep with. That's just No, tight. Eddie Murphy's no. G- a guy didn't try and sleep with you or anything? Because a lot of times that happens with rock yeah. bands. Oh, yeah. 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 Roadies you want to get to the star, you got to right? be with no, me first. No, He was just kind of standing off to the side. He mm. collected mm. his. He did his job. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Ryan's right. You there. have to be hot. To, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Carmen, yeah. that wasn't just, hey, I met this guy. You actually were like, hey, uh, I had to go parade my body in yeah. front of Eddie Murphy. Basically, basically, Eddie Murphy. Likes me enough. basically, Eddie Murphy's <laughs> pimp found yeah, you. And I'm pretty sure, well, the thing is, I'm pretty sure he was married at the time, right? I don't think so. He but, didn't marry Nicole until, um, I think, like the I don't know. The 90s. How many times has no, he been married? I think he was. I think he Because he had five kids with Nicole. He had five kids. And now he's got 10 kids in total now. One of them he won't acknowledge with, it, uh, Mel B or? with Mel B. Remember, that was big drama. Yeah. He wouldn't acknowledge that child. Yeah, well, that's that. really something. And you know what, Carmen? You're not the only one that had that happen to, to her because all of these rock bands, all of these celebrities of the 80s and the 90s, even like New Kids on the Block, there was a whole thing about the heyday of New Kids on the Block. The lead security guard for New Kids on the Block said there were plenty of the security guards sleeping with the moms of the daughters hoping to get their daughters backstage to the New oh Kids. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. So yeah. always there's the there's so much extracurricular so action happening. Wow. Because I remember even when NSYNC was at their highest height, 99-2000 tour for NSYNC, No Strings mm-hmm. Attached, Joey Fatone's brother was in the concourse. Oh, my God. Like, getting hit on and all that. Like, oh, well, I don't know. You want to meet the guys? Uh, that guy was getting all hey, kinds of play. My, brother, my brother's yes. going to get me laid. Wow. 100%, Ryan. Oh, so listen to this. Eddie no, the Murphy was only on the married. Brother, the brother would do it for himself. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. No, He'd the, get some. You, you, you understand what I mean? Yeah, the I get brother it. got get action and then just, let just them with go. the hope that the girl would get to go backstage and just see and do sing. a meet and greet. Wow, that's crazy. Sleep with them, just a meet so, and greet. Eddie Murphy was only married once to Nicole Murphy from 1993 to 2005. So, he was single then. He was single. Yeah. He was definitely single in the 80s because I remember there was a, but a Charlie interview Murphy was I saw with him fun. talking about that. Oh, the late Charlie. Charlie, Charlie was sure. so funny. He yeah. passed away, unfortunately. But Eddie Murphy had five children with Nicole. He's got three kids with uh, some woman named Paulette, uh, Tamara Hood, and Mel B. But he doesn't acknowledge Mel B's still. That's oh, unfortunate. That's sad. Don't be a deadbeat dad, man. You got lots of money. Come on, donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Just from that alone. Donkey. Okay, coming up next, uh, if you love Yellowstone so much that that's you would do like an Airbnb on a ranch somewhere so you can live like the... Duttons, Duttons. Hey, I couldn't do that. Right. I don't well, want to do that. I like to watch it. I don't want to be in it. Eric, there's a real life ranch family. I want you to meet, and oh, you can no. be part of their show. You want to stay in? You want to stay in Rip's place? We'll find out next. Yeah, rip off. In scoop on the Rule and Ryan show. No oh, thanks. I'm pleased to introduce Rule and Ryan's celebrity scoop on KRBE. Okay, a couple of little program notes for you. Monday morning, starting at six o'clock until midnight. Every time we play an Olivia Rodrigo song. You're going to score tickets to her sold-out show for Tuesday night. The Olivia Rodrigo Tour hits Houston on Tuesday, which means you go in your tickets the day before and be so excited to get there. Now, how is that going to work? As soon as you hear the song start, boom, start calling us. The number you're going to call is 713-390-KRBE, which is 5723. If you're caller 104, you're going to the sold-out show. That's program note number one. Number two, March 1st is upon us. We are, like, almost out of February already. Hey, we even got an extra day in February. We did. It's a leap year. Uh, And March is National Women's History Month, so we said this a couple days ago. We want to recognize, instead of some great women in history, we want to recognize some great women in the KRBE listening area. And it's up to you to do that by calling our listener line at 713-278-VENT. That's 8368. Let us know why the woman in your life deserves recognition. And every morning at 820, we're going to spotlight one of your calls. Now, please make sure you tell us the name of the woman you're putting in the spotlight. You say it's your mom. What's your mom's name? If it's your best friend, if it's your co-worker, what's their name? We want to know their name. And have a plan when you call and if you have fun with it because, you know, if it, say it does go four minutes, uh, Ryan can edit it down and stuff. Yeah, but, okay, yeah you know, the heart of the matter. And we'll also do it in the afternoon too with Kevin and Audrey. Yeah. So we really want to spotlight. Recognize great women some great in our women area. out there in this area that are doing some awesome things. Yep. Okay, third note, how can you make some money watching television? I talked about this last hour. Somebody had asked because they heard at the end of the scoop the oscars are happening on march the 11th on abc 
And you could be paid $2,000 to watch all of the 10 Best Picture nominees, plus score a 65-inch 4K television and a $500 DoorDash gift card to get your food and snacks to get you through the movies. If you watch the films and you predict who is going to win the Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Supporting Actress. So you've (laughs) you've got to guess all these categories right to get the money. You have to predict that. They will also, That's you also a big have ass, to rate see- every film on different criteria like creativity, its ability to evoke emotion, and memorability. Oppenheimer just picked that. Yeah. That's win. That'll that's win. number one. That's yeah. number one. That one that you uh, said, The Holdovers, I can't even believe, because that's on, I forget what streaming platform. Was it Amazon Prime, was it? Or? Yeah, with Paul Giamatti. That movie sucked, man. It was not good. It was good. Sometimes it's just like. It just wasn't good. And I love Paul Giamatti. Pick but- movies because they want to pick. That crap. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, it looks artsy fartsy, so. Yeah. I like an artsy fartsy movie, but the website that was to not good. Apply for this. The, the application is closed on March 3rd. The website to apply is testcasinos.com, and you have to watch all 10 of the movies and do all those. That's a lot of hoops lot. to Hoop jump jumping. through, and you only get a yeah. chance. It's not guaranteeing that you're going to get it. Now, if you love Yellowstone, like Eric yes. does, and Although, you I'm really so confused. Live your best like, cowboy life. I don't even know how it. The last season ended because I keep hearing Kevin Costner's fired. Matthew McConaughey is coming in. He's not in. I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, you can hmm. kick out of the Yellowstone circle and jump into the McBees. Who are the McBees? Is that a swarm yeah, that what you is should that? stay away from? <laughs> Irish The bees? McBee dynasty, the real American Cowboys, is a peacock reality series about a real-life ranch family in Missouri. Eric, your favorite state. Misery. Misery. March the 11th, it's going to premiere on Peacock, and the McBee family runs a ranch and cattle business in rural Missouri. That's a hard word to say for some people. Rural. 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 That's where I lived. Rural, rural. Missouri. Rural Route 1, that was my address. Rural Route That's 1. A, well, I can never say it. Roll, I just R R yeah one mm-hmm. Marseilles, Illinois. It's Marseille. And I didn't realize it was Marseille until I was like thirty. This is the French word for Marseille. They, it's Marseille. Well, the French took our area, right? In Illinois, that must be so a they always Marseilles. Everyone says Marseilles. Funny Marseilles instead um, of Marseille. Um, their business, the McBee family runs that ranch, and their business is at risk of financial ruin. While they hope to expand, there is sibling drama between the brothers who all want to take control of the ranch from their dad. The official series description promises a roller coaster ride of ambition and betrayal. Hmm. The oldest son, Stephen, was on the series Joe Millionaire for Richer or Poorer in 2022. And this is going to, the McBee Dynasty premieres Monday, March 11th on Peacock. All episodes are able to stream. If you're more like on old school, you want to watch it, I guess, real time, you can catch on the USA Network. New episodes come out weekly. Huh. Doesn't the Farmer Gets a Wife or something? <laughs> McBee Gets a Wife or something. There's so That's many out too. streaming shows. Sam, do you watch the uh, 90 Day Fiancés? No, surprisingly, I don't. Oh. I know. I'm shocked. Or like Married at First Sight. N- no. Like that. I like love After love- Lockup. I've seen that, but I'm just like into Love Is Blind. Oh, right the now Bravo the stuff! Do you watch Bravo? I tried watching Bravo the last couple days. Of, like Andy Cohen cable. stuff. Yeah, there's they're so Too mean. Many? They're just fighting. Oh. Everyone's yeah. just fighting. I'm like, mm-hmm. guys, could you relax a little bit? Take yeah. take some. But don't they well, take it over the top though, drama. Eric? To make it more, cause every season has to get more over the top than the last. They they oh, do that on purpose. So That's yeah, how they I make themselves. So. And there's so many seasons, like 14 seasons. I'm like, how do they ever expect to get new people? Because you're so lost. I'm like, I don't know who this person is. I'm, I am watch 14 seasons to get but caught up. But your sister-in-law and your wife are oh. really big Bravo Con girls. Mm-hmm. They know all those seasons, I bet. My wife is but my sister-in-law knows all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, she knows like all them. Below Deck or something like that, yeah, too. Yeah, that's and another show. That was oh, fun. And, and can I make a note, too? Southampton or South, Southies or something? Some Southern thing? I don't know. Oh, I don't know that one. They're to to make a program about how over the top one has to get from the other, if you look at um, the show like The Biggest Loser, which I'm not even sure if that's still on anymore, from the first season, the first season, like the big dramatic weight loss was like they lost 60 pounds or they lost 70 pounds then they were like they just keep topping each other so they would get they would get like you've lost they, 900 they, pounds yeah their tease was like <laughs> our contestants are bigger than ever yeah and they would show like this poor man who's like 400 something pounds who hasn't worked out in years so there's a guy in bel-air trying to do all those cargo rope climbs don't some the of military them, dr don't, no is that dr. persian no. guy i don't know him is it 600 pound life or whatever yeah. oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah 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 i got my brother my, my sister and my uh Brother-in-law, they want to take photos right by his office over there. It's on Bel Air. Yeah, oh, is there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of those people die. He shames them real hard. Oh yeah, he's hardcore. You can is do cameos. Really? You can yeah. have a cameo of him. 
if oh, you want. You want like on the app Cameo for like your birthday. Happy birthday, Eric. Yeah, but you can't understand what he's saying. Oh, I've never seen the show. His accent's really thick. You're not really missing it. Hey, yo. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen one, you've seen them all. I just, yeah. Yeah. I just had like a like a moment like you did yesterday where you misunderstood what Rule is saying. I didn't realize you were saying Cameo, like the app where people greet. I thought you meant like, I can get a Cameo on my 600-pound life. Like, like a special guest appearance. appearance. Like, 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 wait, I just, do I need to be fat? I'll pretend, I'll pretend like an assistant for the doctor. <laughs> Taking notes. No, I'm Ryan, you don't need to be overweight because not all overweight people hang out with other overweight people. They have people in their lives that are thin. <laughs> no, I mean to be, to get a cameo spot right. on the show. You could be a cameo yeah. like Eric is there like in the, the doctor's office hand. waiting oh, for his I gotcha. friend okay. to find out what the prognosis is of blah, but blah, Some blah. of these people are enablers. Oh, yeah, the person can't sure. leave the mattress, and that person has to go bring the pizza and the. Stubs. Like, have you watched? Uh, you ever watched the Thousand Pound Sisters? I tried, I couldn't. I was like, I felt my brain cells. Oh uh, yeah, like mm. dissolving. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's 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 really bad. Okay, so uh, Text Dot is closing down southbound main lanes of six ten West Loop starting tonight at nine p.m. and it's going to be closed all the way through Monday morning five a.m. Expect a lot of traffic around the Galleria area. I saw this story on Cron.com, The Chronicle. Shipley Donuts has teamed up with a Texas-based designer to create a custom pair of Nike Air Force Ones, and they're going to give them away to one lucky sneakerhead. So it's a beige suede sneaker with a pink swoosh, and it's got, like, the icing dripping from the swoosh with sprinkles mm. and the Shipley's logos on the back of the shoe in chocolate brown. Now, one pair, they only made one pair, is going to be given to a winner of this giveaway, which you can follow Shipley's on Instagram. That's how you can win this. Is Shipley's, Shipley's only available in the Houston surrounding areas, or is it like... Really, you are know they that. Dallas? Are they one, Dallas or something? There was one um, location in Dallas years ago. I don't know if that one still exists. Like, what does Dallas have? I don't remember what they had. Um, I lived there. Krispy Kreme know. was big. Southern made? No, not Southern Well, made. if you want to try and get these shoes, uh, you have February Fe- uh, February 27th. You have until then to enter, and the winner will be announced on March 1st. So if you're, you know, size four, what is it? No, I, I don't know. I think they'll customize it to you. Right? You would it's think. Like, Dang it, I can't fit in. I got a size four and I got a Santa 12 wear it. shoe. Yeah, tiny feet for the yeah, you, you got hoofs. <laughs> They're yeah. so tiny. Hoofs? <laughs> hoofs? <laughs> hoofs? I can't. It's like The Office when they show Jim making that weird hoofs. face. And his eyes <laughs> lit up. And went, They're so tiny. Hoofs. You have hoofs. <laughs> I have hoofs is how. So Ryan's, so Ryan's pick up line for the next female he sees like, hey. wow, those are some sexy It's not going to be a next female. Stop hoofs. doing it. Well, stop doing what? I'm just saying who You know I'm in a relationship. A I'm not going to go. I'm not out I'm just dating. saying in general, how, who, did you call your girlfriend's feet hooves? No, like, this is normal for you. You thought to call Sam's feet hooves. No, they're not shoes. They're normal <laughs> size. But you called them hooves. <laughs> Who thinks to call a woman's well, feet hooves? I'm just hooves? saying they're so tiny. So cute. So it's tiny. Very odd. <laughs> very odd. <laughs> All the foot beautiful. fetish are going to come out now. I know. Let's keep talking you. about it. The footies? Let's just only move feet, along because we've got Only fun. feet? Is that a sight? Only fans, only feet. It only feet. Now. Sam runs it. That's why she's yes. gonna quit because she's can a make so much money. Yes. <laughs> go she could, you model. seriously could make at least ten grand a month on feet what, pics. Showing feet. Yeah, she Maybe. gets offers all the time. Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah. Well, we're gonna do a, a live hey, babe, let me see those sexy hooves of Sam <laughs> dancing around with her little petite hooves to the Friday free for all. <laughs> like a deer. Friday free for all. Next on the Real Show. <laughs> 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 <laughs>